If you have a business you are looking to grow on Instagram, these are the only three things you need to be focused on every single day. Literally just these three things. If you just do these three things, you will successfully grow your business, you'll be making the sales, signing clients, all from Instagram, just from these three things. So this is the areas which I always prioritize in my business and it has served me so well. I've built my business primarily off Instagram, just started doing YouTube, but pretty much all of my clients have come from Instagram. This has been a full-time career for me for the last two and a half years. So first thing I want to say is that seeing growth and sales gets to be simple. It's not complicated. It's not hard. We don't need to do a million different things, especially when we're trying to grow a business on Instagram. We're trying to get clients, we're trying to get sales. Whatever that looks like, whatever programs that are that looks like, there are really just three key areas that we want to focus on and we want to make sure we're focusing on them every single day. Anything else is just extra. Finding the trending sounds, finding the most perfect aesthetic, finding any of those other pieces, these are all extra. These are the only three pieces you need to focus on. And these three alone will get you consistent growth and consistent sales coming in just from your Instagram. So I want you to prioritize these above everything else. Literally, if you're going to your to-do list today, these three things should be the only things that are on there. Anything else, if you have extra time, amazing. Spend all the time on the aesthetics and the filters and the trending sounds, everything like that. But if you're actually wanting to grow your business on Instagram, this is what you need to be focused on. Just these three areas, that is it. So the first thing you should be doing, we're just gonna highlight this GIF because this is the emphasis here. Posting content every single day. Every single day, as she says right there. every single day you want to be posting content and the reason why i say this is for a lot of us this is the marketing this is how people are finding us this is how people are warming up to our content this is how people are becoming leads this is how they're deciding they even want to work with us in the first place this is our marketing channel so if you are posting sporadically if you are showing up a couple times a week if you took a few weeks off then popped back for a bit then disappeared again for a few weeks you're not going to be getting consistent clients on Instagram. You're not going to be getting consistent sales and not going to be seeing that growth from your business either if this is your main marketing channel. So every single day, challenge yourself to post every single day. What would it look like if you just posted a piece of content every single day and you added post content to your to-do list every single day? If this was just a routine daily thing that you did, the consistency of your audience just seeing your content just popping up on their feeds that alone is a game changer. Just them being a part of your life every single day, just them seeing, you know, something from you every single day, you literally become a part of their lives. You become a part of their schedule. If you can think about some of your favorite, um, you know, people online, creators, service providers, people that you follow that you absolutely love, whenever they're posting, it just feels like they're part of your day. You probably know their schedule if they're posting on YouTube, for example, three times a week, whatever it is. You know their schedule, you're following along, you expect to see a post from them. And I think the really helpful thing here as well, one of people's main objections to posting every single day is, okay, but then it means I can't spend hours obsessing over the content and making it the best thing possible and trying to get the trend and sounds and make it perfect and all of those things. What I will say to that is this sentence right here. This is probably a game changer if you can just fully take this on. The more shots you take, the more home runs you're going to hit. It's like using the analogy of content being, you know, playing tennis, for example. So posting content is playing the tennis in the analogy here, just in case you weren't following. So the more times you are going out to practice playing tennis, the more times you are going out and playing a match with someone and practicing, the more likely it is you're going to win a match versus if you try and obsess over that one match you're playing this month and try and make it absolutely perfect, it's going to be harder to hit that home run, essentially. Obviously, I know home run is not from tennis, but you get the analogy. It's going to be harder to win that game and to get that winning shot, essentially, if you are not taking as many shots. So actually, by just increasing the quantity and by actually just showing up every single day and posting every single day, you're taking so many more shots. You are having so many more chances for people to resonate with you, for new people to find you, to land on the explore page, for people to really see your content and think, wow, I'd love to work with this person. This is really helpful. That's exactly what I've been looking for, etc." So stop trying to make two perfectly curated posts each week. Stop trying to make it absolutely perfect, aesthetic perfect, all of those things. And stop trying to show up and just do less, but do it perfect by tweaking that 5%, you know, the 5%, which doesn't really move the needle. It makes it cute. It makes it pretty. It makes it fun, but it's not really actually moving the needle and getting you results. Instead, what if you were to focus on just taking five to seven shots each week? So posting five to seven times each week 
and you will then end up with more winners than that person who is stressing over perfect posts, that person who is trying to curate the absolute perfect carousel for them, a just really beautiful blend of images, all of those things. Actually just focusing on just the quantity and just showing up more is so powerful. So I challenge you, post every single day. Show up and post every single day in your business. If that is your main marketing strategy, you wanna be doing this. Secondly, engage with your community, connect with people. Now, do I mean, disclaimer here, do I mean go out and comment on posts? I mean, you can if you want to, but you absolutely don't have to, and I do not do that. That is not something I do where people will talk about, you know, the 15 minute engagement and just go out and engage with accounts for 15 minutes each day. You don't need to do that at all, but you do need to engage with your community. And that's where people will usually miss the point of they'll say, oh, I don't want to do the, you know, I just go and comment randomly on people's posts saying like cute dog or something like that. So they'll say, okay, I'm just not going to do engagement at all. And then they just sit there and just wait for people to want to engage with them, which is not going to happen because we're human and we kind of need something to bounce back off of. So what this can look like in a just really, really simple, easy way is just I share what I'm up to in stories. I share, you know, a cafe I went to, which was just really vibey. I found really cute. I share my travels, where I'm off to. Um, I take people along with my lives just by, and then I'm just present with them essentially. It's just forming a connection. And I always equate this to the same way you kind of form friendships over commonalities. You form friendships and you form connections by with people and just deeper connections, especially by, you know, them seeing, oh, you're reading this book. Wow, I was thinking about reading that book. What did you think about that? Or, oh, you're taking this trip to this place. That looks really exciting. Or, oh, you drink your coffee, a coffee, and it has to be an iced latte each time because you hate hot coffee. Um, that is me, by the way, in case you didn't know. Um, so people just form relationships by just creating a connection and just having some connection there. So the same way that you form friendships with people just in reality, in real life, you can do this with your content and with your audience by just letting your personality shine, just letting parts of you just come forward. And instead of you needing to go out and just comment on people's posts and you be the one responding, you can be the one who sets something for people to respond to. So you're the one posting on your stories about things and just sharing things which make it easy for people to, you know, connect with and just respond back to and just form connections there. Me, for example, I've made so many connections through my love of ice lattes. I kid you not, there's one person I'm thinking of in, sp in particular, and if you're watching this, please let me know. Um, I think you know who you are, who I think we just primarily connected because I think she just was randomly stumbled across my stories one day and just saw that I posted about liking iced lattes and she was like, me too, um, I only drink iced lattes and we just fully connected over there and now we're just really good business friends and it all started because I shared about iced lattes. So examples of things that I share about a lot, dog, I share about my pet a lot, Poppy, she appears quite a lot in my stories, travel for me, I share about the, there's no iced, co iced coffee emoji which I'm kind of sad about so imagine that's an iced latte because I don't drink hot coffee um, but it's just a great way to connect with people and just to actually engage with your community and just actually build those connections that goes such a long way so that is something which you should be adding to your list every single day just to engage in some way whether that is posting up a story people can connect with, whether that is doing a poll on your Instagram stories, whether that is um, adding some you know connection aspect to a post which you're doing that day whether that is you know sometimes actually reaching out and connecting with people responding to dms etc so the third thing you should be doing every day the third and final thing sell your offer every single day i talk about my offer in some way in some place every single day a lot of times you won't see that sometimes it will be as obvious as i'll go on my instagram stories and talk about my offer or i'll speak about it in a post sometimes it will be i'm having a conversation in the dms with someone sometimes it will be i'm emailing my list about it so it's a little bit more behind the scenes but i always make sure i talk about my offer every single day this is so so important this is probably the most important priority that is leading to actual growth and not just fans because the other two are really amazing if you are posting content each day and you're actually you know you've got things people can respond to, people can engage with, people can learn more about you, etc. And you're engaging with your community, you're connecting with those people. These two alone, if you just take out that third one, are going to lead to fans. They're going to lead to people who are just like, oh, I love your content. I love what you do. And if you're trying to grow a business, yeah, that's cute and all. That's great. But we also want clients and we also want sales. We want people to sign up for our programs. So this is the important part, which actually bridges that gap from I have a lot of fans 
to I have a lot of clients and it's probably the most important there. So set yourself that daily action of just sharing your offer each day in some way, in some form. Sometimes it's gonna be a bit more of a hard sell of a here's how you can work with me, here's the link to apply, here's the pricing. Sometimes it'll be a bit softer of wow, celebrating this client today, she just achieved this, etc. But those engaged followers, we really want them to make sure that when they are really engaged, when they have been engaging with us a lot, when they have been seeing us posting every single day, so they're just feeling very active with us, we want to make sure that they know what we sell and they know how we can actually help them, that requires repetition. That requires you talking consistently about your offers so that when that person does see you sharing about your offer, they're actually paying attention because of these first two pieces, but then they're actually seeing it a lot, enough for them to actually think about it, enough for them to actually know all the details. So do these three things every single day. I guarantee you every single day, if you just challenge yourself, set yourself a 30 day challenge if that helps you as well. If you set yourself the challenge of doing these every single day, you will be amazed how much you can grow your actual business from your Instagram. And what I would always say is you should only be focused on these and just ticking these off each day. Don't think about anything else. These are your first three priorities. If these three things haven't been done, don't try and look at trending sounds. Don't try and do filters. Don't try and like um, find some new pictures or anything like that. Just focus on doing these three things everything else it's cute and fun it makes it nice it makes it a bit more enjoyable but these are the three things that lead to actual results for you these are the three things that are going to be getting you the clients getting you the sales getting you the actual leads and at the end of the day moving the needle in your business and making this more than just a fun hobby or a side hustle making this an actual full-time income business for you so focus on these three things everything else is fun it's the icing on top of the cake but these are the three things that you should be focusing on every single day to grow your business with instagram so let me know in the comments what is firstly one thing which we can connect over let me know one fun fact about you mine is definitely that i'm absolutely obsessed with ice lattes and i refuse to drink hot coffee even though it's the middle of winter here i will not be doing that so let me know in the comments one just connection piece about yourself that you going to start sharing with your audience and go out and do these three things today. I'm challenging you and I will see you back here again tomorrow with the next video.